welcome back to my channel so from astringents to toners to cleansers we've pretty much covered quite a lot on this channel i hope you guys enjoyed last week's video on first seven effective face soaps or cleansers to use for your skin and to know the exact type that suits your skin type okay in this week's video we are going to be talking about three effective hydrating brightening exfoliates that are effective for skin healing roughness and large pores okay that's what we are going to be treating in this week's video so from astringent to toners how do you know the one you need do you need neutrogena clear pore or do you need pixie glow tonic or do you need Aceol liquorice toner or do you need Cosrex clarifying toner? These are all toners. Okay. Now, how do you know the one you need? Because sometimes you walk into the store, Shoprite, for example, or a supermarket, or if you are abroad, Sephora, and you are baffled by the list of all the skincare products there. And you're just wondering, I just need somebody to guide me. This is the video to guide you on what you need for your skin type and yes everybody needs a toner because this glow needs a toner to hold it together and to be a huge part of your skincare routine so sit back relax watch this video to the end or check in the description box to see the one that you are going to need because i highlighted them and i grouped the video into steps into stages and into chapters so you don't miss any part of the video have you subscribed in case you haven't subscribed this is also the perfect time for you to subscribe so i'll wait for you subscribe thank you so much for subscribing and we also just hit a thousand subscribers what am I saying? 1,100 and I'm just, I mean, all oh, like the analytics is blowing my mind. I am intensely and immensely grateful for the opportunity you guys have given me to learn. And today I have my notes here on this channel. We make research to, uh, before we create content. And this is important because we don't want you to be misinformed. Our audience, you watching me, you're important. So I'm creating content that you guys would also enjoy. So what are toners? How do you know the toner to get? And in just a few minutes, I'll be taking you through the kind of toner you should use for your uh, particular skin type or reaction that you have. Now, what are toners? Toners are water-based formulations that are utilized towards targeting a specific skin issue. Now, toner is what allows the other skin acids that you're going to be using in your skincare routine to be readily absorbed, okay, into your skin pores, all right? So, if you're not using a toner in your skincare routine, that already shows that you're missing out on a lot of goodness. And it might also be one of the pointers to the reasons why your skincare products, especially the ones with acids, are taking a longer while to um, readily absorb into your skin and to take effects and for you to start seeing changes. This is very, very important. Now that we've covered what toners are and how they can help in the skincare routine, now let's talk about the different types of toners. Toners are typically classified into three types. Today, into three types. You guys need to also check my Instagram and TikTok in case you don't follow me there because I make short 15 second videos that you would like that are really, really educating and that you also enjoy. Now, the three classifications of toners are you have the hydrating toner, the exfoliating toner, and of course, lastly, the treatment toner. This is a lot. I know you're already confused. Calm down. I am going to take you through every one of them now if you pick a toner for example and it says for all skin type let me say let me use this particular one the rose glow tonic from my brand is formulated for all skin type when you see a product say for all skin types it typically says for all skin types because it was formulated with oily um, acne prone combination dry sensitive skin in mind that means the formulator intended for any particular skin type to use this product now a, a hydrating toner typically has flower hydrosols like rose like rose petals chamomile leaves 
Do you understand? Those petals are now soaked into distilled water. It is this water and glycerin and other humectants that makes it hydrating. Do you get the eating toners are just toners that had moisture to your skincare routine? Okay, they add hydration, they keep the skin bouncy, plump. All right, and the skin needs a good balance of moisture in order to readily accept skin acids. So if you're not toning immediately after cleansing your skin and you're just going with your niacinamide, for example, or your harsh vitamin C serum or your retinol or your tritonin or any other acid that you use, there's a huge chance that your skin might not readily accept that. So tuners had a, an extra layer of hydration but they don't do additional cleansing yeah they only add an extra layer of hydration and you can just even like spritz on your face and go and you don't even need a cotton pad that is how easy it is to use a toner and like i just said everybody needs hydrating toner whether your skin is oily dry acne prone everybody needs hydrating from astringent think of astringent as a concentrated acidic toner Whereas a toner is a combination of any kind of toner. Let me rephrase that. An astringent typically has acids inside them, whereas a toner does not have an acid. Like a toner can function as a toner without any acidic ingredients in it. That's the difference between an astringent and a toner. And case in point here, we have the Neutrogena Clepo astringent, and of course, this is well liquorized toner. Now, the next classification of toner that I think, you guys, it gets really, really intense that I think you need to pay attention to is exfoliating toner. And it has worked wonders for me. Before now, I used to use um, astrogens, but I noticed that my skin did have that natural bounce and feel to it. And then I started studying Korean skincare, Asian skincare, and I noticed that they would, they would, Put on their skin quite a lot of hydrating um components essences and stuff and then by the time they're done with their skincare routine they're all looking bouncy and everything but then my skin didn't have that and i wanted that and i added hydrating toner but then my skin would often break out within the month and i need something to just put, nudge my skin in the right direction in the form of acids and this is where the AHAs and the BHAs come into play. Now my skin naturally can't tolerate niacinamide. I don't know why in case it works for you continue but then I had to get the Cosrex clarifying AHA and BHA toner and that is exactly what I use when I have breakouts during the month. Let's keep the pores tight. They help with dullness, they help with flakiness and they help to keep those large pores that you have on your face they look smaller. The more you use exfoliating toners, the more those acids in the toner will penetrate into your skin pores. And of course, your skin will start to look visibly bright, beautiful, all right? And then the pores will look visibly tight in appearance. The reason why your pores are large is probably because you don't exfoliate enough. Now, quite a lot of people can't tolerate exfoliating, strong exfoliating acids. But when they're in a toner like form and fashion of course your skin should be able to tolerate it now the skin type that should really consider using exfoliating toners are the normal oily combination and of course acne prone skin but if your skin is dry and sensitive definitely consider using a toner with lactic acid instead of harsh um acids like glycolic acid salicylic acid which are excellent for the previous skin types that i just mentioned now the um product samples that i have for exfoliating toners include the pixie glow tonic with um glycolic acid and of course the cosrex clarifying aha and bha toner which is a good balance of hydration and of course exfoliating acids now this is really really important because most of the time because of sunscreen because of skincare products because of makeup products as our skin gets congested and we need to be able to exfoliate in order to get it out and then restore the bounce back to it with the hydrating toner all right so that our skin will have that natural looking juicy glowy vibe of course application of toner are called treatment toners now my mom is 55 
I would be doing her more harm than good if I just put her on, say, hydrating toner. She needs a toner that is treatment in formula. Take, for example, so if you have your mom, for example, and she's in a middle-aged woman, of course, she needs to start consider considering anti-aging formulas. So for her, the kind of toner that she should try would have to be the anti-aging treatment toner. These are toners that just help to boost collagen, to restore moisture, and of course, to make your skin bouncy and more youthful looking. Then, of course, under treatment toners, we have brightening toners that contain... um licorice and of course vitamin c to help with discoloration and to just give your skin that bright even fair looking appearance however you need to be careful to know what is priority to you now the issue with people when they buy skincare products is they want to do everything at once how about like i always say if your condition is acne prone currently focus on treating the acne Afterwards, then you can get a treatment toner that is brightening in nature to brighten up your skin. But if your skin does not have acne and you are just working on discoloration, then from this video, you already know that the toner that you need should be brightening in nature. And a perfect example of the brightening toner that I've tried in the past is the Aswa Licorice Toner. Licorice is a natural lightening product and imagine it infused in a toner. That is exactly the amount of goodness that it delivered into my skin. So not only did it hydrate my skin, it also helped to brighten my skin up. And around that time, I was dealing with quite a lot of pigmentation around this cheek side and it really worked wonders for it. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this really, really short video. I hope you a thumbs up. Which toner are you going to get out of all the ones that I've just talked about in this video? And of course, which one have you tried in the past? I'll be in the comment section to know the ones you've tried and the one that you're looking forward to trying based on the recommendations I just gave to you. Remember to watch this video over and over again to make sure that you're making the right purchasing decision when it comes to skincare. My name is Eniola. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, share this video with your friend, and of course, follow me on my social media channels. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.